name is Sam Sessler, and I am the founder of Hangar. The easiest way to explain it is that it's Strava for pilots. And the way I came up with it is I started running a lot, and I was uploading my runs to Strava and like sharing with my friends. And it was super refreshing, just kind of like versus Instagram and TikTok nowadays, where it's just like mindless scrolling. And I'm also a private pilot. And I was kind of thinking, I was like, why don't they have something like this for pilots? You can store your track logs in your logbook on ForeFlight and a couple other apps, I think. But there's not that social aspect to it. And there's not there's nothing that kind of gamifies it and promotes exploration. You can go into different airports and all that stuff. So I started working on this thing. And it's gotten to the point where we have just over... 3,000 users. I think we're at like 3,200, which is pretty good in a niche space. And we've only been on the app store for three months now. Oh, wow. That's yeah, awesome. Just under three months. And yeah, I just, I switched to Mapbox. I was using Apple Map Kit at the start and it's not, it wasn't my favorite look and Mapbox is super customizable. Mm -hmm. So I brought Mapbox into it and then I was looking for a weather provider and I was looking around. I think I looked at a couple of competitors maybe and I came across tomorrow and I, I'm a fan of a good sleek UI and easy usage. And that's what I saw with you guys. So that's kind of why I went that direction. That's awesome. How did, did, was the, was the initial thought of using tomorrow to bring weather into it? Or what specifically were you looking for when you were looking for us or looking for an API? Yeah, so so I have, a, it's a freemium model, just like just like tomorrow is, yeah. but different because it's consumer. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to, I thought a really good pro feature would be weather overlays. Okay. And so I can actually share my, can I share my screen? Will that work? Yeah, you should be. Yeah, I'm going to share. So I have this simulator that runs the, the app. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So like right here, this is an airline flight that I had pulled up just because I know that there's going to be some weather along the way for an airline flight. And how the app works is you can look up a tail number or a flight number. Mm -hmm. And so if I was flying, I would just look up the tail number of my airplane and then I can click on like multiple legs. So we can see this one's on the same day. So I'll do the there and back leg and hit select. And that pulls up the map. I'm going to take the airspace off because it's kind of it looks funky right now. And then you can hit precipitation and it pulls up the the weather overlay. And then you can actually upload that with your flight. So I can probably find people I'm not going to upload right now. But yeah, so this is Dozen. He's actually an ex-Thunderbird pilot. And he uploaded this flight and you can see he encountered some weather right there and you can see he kind of dodged it right here went through that gap so it kind of tells yeah and then this one's really cool too um, <laughs> i had some good ones pulled up right away somehow yeah but you can see he literally said dodging weather down oh, getting his landing gear um... fixed so he had to fly down to portland and you can see him like going through those different storm cells and stuff that's cool of the 3,200 users you have right now, <clears throat> are they all private hobby pilots or so you have like commercial most... pilots or who are putting like, you know, I flew to Dallas today <laughs> for Delta. Was yeah, there's a, there's a couple of those. There was one that uploaded earlier today that flies out of, I think he flies out of Norway. That's cool. Or the Netherlands. I can't remember. It's one of those. Uh, and he flies like all over the place. So there's, there's a, it's mostly hobbyist pilots or people that are like working to become airline pilots eventually. Mm -hmm. But there is some commercial pilots on it. There's actually quite a few, what do you call it, corporate pilots. So people that fly privately yeah. for That's really certain cool. people. How, what are you building this in? Is it, <clears throat> what code, I guess? Yeah, so it's only iOS, so I'm building it all in their new framework, which is Swift UI, and just build an Xcode. My back end is Firebase, so just keeping it simple and light at first, okay. um, That's which awesome. allows me to kind of build it faster and 
because it's a one man team right now. Mm-hmm. Everything I've built by myself. So, and I think I can actually build the weather. Yeah. So I, mm-hmm. I'm in this area south of Seattle. So it's not yeah. very nice here right now. Are you in, you're in Washington? Yeah. And this yeah. is like my airport map. So you can filter by different, like you can filter by airports with restaurants and stuff. How easy was it for you to tie weather data into this, into what you had built? Was using our API, I don't know, easy? Did you have any trouble there? So it's kind of a funny story. It is very easy to tie it in, <laughs> but I, I made it a lot harder on myself at first. Okay. I'm going to stop showing this screen. Really yeah. Yeah. So it was really simple and it wasn't as much code as I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. And because I had never, I had never done, I have never pulled in like a tile, map tile API like that before. Yeah. And I had this weird glitch where it was like duplicating the tiles. So you would get like the same patch of weather over the entire map and it would just repeat a hundred times. And eventually I figured it out and it was a lot simpler than I, than I was making it out to be. That's awesome. One thing I think we hear a lot is the, our people who are looking for an API usually fall into two buckets, right? You have users who are who have a very clear path for what they want to build and how they're going to build it. And then they have people who are like, I want to build this and I need your API. How do I get started building it? Like, how do I yeah. do that? So it's, it's interesting to hear someone who's like, yeah, this is how I was going to build it. If you didn't know what you were going to build it on, how would you get started and like work backwards? So a trick that I've taught myself is I'll actually train a chat GPT model off of documentation. Amazing. So I'll take like your guys' documentation and I'll take Mapbox's documentation and then and I'll talk to it and it'll help it through the process. I love that. Yeah. Just self-serving yeah. yourself. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so I um, try to, I try to. And I hope this doesn't sound against you guys, but I try to talk to support the least as, the least amount as possible. Sometimes it's like slow to go back and forth. So I, and there's new tools out there that allow you to do things a lot quicker than yeah you could before. So have you used ChatGPT for anything else in building your app? Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, um, super helpful. What what endpoints are you using for? For your app i'm assuming it's the map endpoint what else are you using from it specifically i integrated it like a month ago so i'm trying to remember exactly what was going on at the time so like you're saying just like what layers am i using yeah 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 so i'm using precipitation and cloud cover right now okay awesome but i did inquire about the aviation layers mm-hmm. because i think that would be pretty sweet in the app. how critical do you think the weather layer is to pilots who are using this your app i don't i don't know if it's critical because i wouldn't say my app is critical i'd say it's more like consumer people want to use it yeah but it's definitely it helps tell the story of their flights a lot Mm -hmm. better than it because i'll see some people that don't have the weather overlay and they're like oh dodging storms that's why you can't see them so it's hard to but but when people do use the weather overlays it's really cool to see when they use the overlays, is it, you can see it, you can see it in the post that they make, but do they mention the weather usually too? Yeah. A lot yeah. of the time. Okay. Yeah. From your point of view, how do you see weather impacting small flights and stuff like that right now? Uh, is it a big worry? Absolutely. <laughs> it has been pretty bad weather here the past month or so. And when it's nice out, it's super windy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I haven't been up all that much, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's a huge impact. A lot of people don't go flying every single day because of it. I can see my traffic slow down on my app, actually, if the weather's kind of worse across the nation. Interesting. So that's kind of something to keep an eye on, but I'm excited for this summer when more people are flying and the traffic is a little bit busier. How are you, how have you gotten users for the app right now? So initially I posted in Facebook groups and ran some Instagram ads and made some reels and such. Mm -hmm. And I was able to get a good clump of users at first because I didn't want 
to release the platform and have it be dead for the people that were on it. Yeah. Uh, so I hit it really hard in the beginning and we got a good base amount of users. And now like I would consider myself in a building phase. Yeah. So just building on it and trying to make it better and then going to hit the marketing hard at some point. You've only had this up for a few months. So far, what have you seen that you want to improve on? Uh, a lot of things. Yeah. I'm somebody that always wants to make it better. Yeah. So I'll never really be satisfied with what the current product is. Sometimes my maps have little bugs in them that I want to fix. Mm-hmm. I want to make I want to make it more engaging for the users too. That keeps them coming back. Yeah. I mean it's hard to it's hard to say because there's just so many things that I can improve on. I also want to it'd be nice to have more weather overlays in here because you could kind of you could kind of give some insights that other apps don't give. Yeah. Because I could take those aviation layers and kind of interpret them my own way and then display that data in the app. What would those insights be? What specifically are like in addition to what you have right now, are you trying to pull from the weather? Like how does that and how is that interpreted for pilots? So for example, I took data from actually Apple's weather kit early on. Mm -hmm. and I turned it into so in aviation there's it's called a METAR Mm -hmm. have you heard of that yeah Yeah. okay it's called a METAR it's like a it's like a weather report at an airport and a lot of airports don't have them but I took Apple's weather kit and I took point location weather data and I actually converted it into a METAR format okay so I would say that I took like that data interpret it in my own way and made a predictive METAR for that point for every single airport in the world. That's cool. Are the airports that don't have METARs, are they like just smaller airports? Typically, yeah. Okay. That's really cool. What does the next version of the app look like to you? Or what do you envision the next phase has that you don't have right now as you continue to build? It's going to be interesting. I'll just say it's not going to be only for pilots. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Do you still envision the whole Strava for whatever group though? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be, a, there's going to be a few more crowds on it probably. Okay. Uh, not only pilots, but the experience is going to be curated well for each audience. Okay. That's awesome. Is your, is your background as a developer or what do you do outside of building hangar i'm actually self-taught okay that's um so i studied construction management in college that's cool (laughs) beyond building this app are you are you building anything else or are you just like work thinking about how to expand hangar i'm full-time on this yeah so i'm you know putting my all into it and just seeing where i can take it not really focusing on too much else except for Still trying to use Strava when I can and get some runs in, keep my head level, and also enjoy my weekends when I have that time. Yeah, I get that. How long have you had your pilot's license? Since I was in high school. Really? Wow. Yeah. So my grandpa, <laughs> my grandpa flew when I was younger, and he still flies every once in a while, but not as much. He kind of got me into it when I was in high school. I had kind of that free time after class that I would just go and take my lessons and I was able to get my pilot's license right after my 17th birthday. Wow. Congrats. That's awesome. Are there any other addition are there any additional tools or features that you dream about incorporating into Hangar in the future? I just want to have so one thing I really want to have is kind of like an all trails for pilots. So yeah. All Trails is the hiking app, if yeah. some people listening don't know. And it's kind of, you look for what type of hike you want to do, difficulty, et cetera. And I want Hangar to kind of have that aspect, but for finding the airports to fly into. So, okay, this airport has hiking, fishing, or this airport has a, a hike on it. This airport has a restaurant, museum, et cetera. So I'd like to get that dialed in on it. It already has the restaurant thing going for it, but there's some 
database upgrades that need to happen before they can kind of become like a community driven database. Is that the goal then to have it be community driven? Yeah. 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 I love that. From your experience in building Hangar, what advice do you have for other for other app builders, other app developers who are trying to get this stuff together? What has been what has been the biggest help for you as you build out your product or build out your app? Honestly, I would say a lot of people like joining the app just because of the design. They think that the design is clean. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say focus on your design because this modern generation really likes a clean UI. That'll that'll attract your customers. Yeah. Has Mac has Mapbox been easy to use for you? Yeah. The only problem is that the Swift UI documentation is kind of new. Mm -hmm. um, it's still experimental, actually. So there wasn't a whole lot of stack overflows or anything like that. There wasn't a whole lot of forum topics on it. So it was kind of figuring it out by myself and flying by the seat of my pants. Gotcha. Going through this process, what would have made using either API for uh, the tools that you're using what would have made using the the documentation for the tools you're using easier? I know you said you built out your own chat GPT thing and we're like talking to that and chatting to get info. On that same vein, is there anything else that tomorrow.io could have had built out to make using the API easier? Maybe some, and maybe there is some, and I missed them, but maybe some example applications. And when I say that, I mean like example, like Swift UI applications. So yeah. kind of more like targeted. More targeted. So one thing I do know I do know that we do have is recipes. Do you ever use recipes when you're building things in your experience? Uh, it depends because it's not like apples to apples, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to have to get built differently in different apps. So not always, but it gives you a good base, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me about tomorrow IO, about our API? Anything off the top of your head? Are you guys coming out with a pay as you go option? That's a great question. Um, for some, for some of us smaller guys, <laughs> it's a great question. We continue to make updates to our API, um, like packages. I don't think we have anything planned right now, but things are always changing, so that might change um, in the near future. This is also just good feedback to have because I'm not sure if we have too many people asking for that. Show them the clip. Show me. Show me saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll show. I will. I'll send that to feedback. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, Sam. This has been super insightful. I really just appreciate your time and helping me get a better understanding. Yeah, and I appreciate you having me. And I'm glad that tweet didn't just go to nobody. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>